My name is Nora, I'm from Switzerland and I live in Bali since 2020 and of course I love it. Je m'appelle Nora, je suis originaire de Suisse et j'habite à Bali depuis 2020 et bien sûr j'adore vivre ici. Uh, mein Name ist Nora, ich bin eine Schweizerin und ich wohne in Bali seit 2020 und ich liebe es so viel. Mein Name ist Nora, ich bin Schweizerin, aber ich wohne in Bali seit 2020 und ich habe es so gerne. Nama saya Nora, saya orang asli Swiss, tapi saya tinggal di Bali dari 2020 dan saya suka sekali di sini. So I can speak five languages. So um, the first one is French, because it's my mother tongue, so I didn't really learn it, right? And then I learned English at school. So in Switzerland, we also learn English because it's mandatory, right? So I started maybe 12 or 13 years old, but I didn't practice it at all for years. And it's only when I came to Bali that I started to really like use it and talk with people. And then I speak German. So in Switzerland, you have to know that we speak four languages, included German. So at school, it's mandatory for us as well to learn it. So I'm a French speaking person, so we need to learn German. And German speaking people need to, to learn French at school. So I started maybe when I was nine or 10 years old. And then I study uh, in a bilingual school. So that's how I get more comfortable speaking German. So after this, I was working a full year in a German company, still in Switzerland, but you know, like in Switzerland, French people don't really speak German and German don't speak French. So you really need to get, you know, like to push yourself and be comfortable to talk with people. After this, I learned Swiss German. So as I said, in Switzerland, um, a part is speaking German, but you have to know that there is a dialect as well, which is different than German. So the friend at the German part of Switzerland speak Swiss German. So it's not the same, but we call it like an unwritten language because you cannot really, I mean, you don't really have rules to write it and you cannot really have like a, I don't know, a course or something, it's kind of hard. So I was learning this as well because German speaking people from Switzerland, they hate to speak in German. They really don't like it at all. It's like, ah, we don't want to speak this language. So if you really want to connect with um, Swiss German people, you need to speak uh, Swiss German. So I learned it that way. And the last language I learned uh, is Indonesian, because as I said before, so I live in Bali since 2020. At the beginning, I didn't know anything at all because I didn't know how long I want to stay in Bali. But after a while, I was seeing like, oh, I feel so shy and uncomfortable to not really speak Indonesian. I cannot even say like, thank you, hello, like nothing. It was really bad. <laughs> so one day I had like a realization and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna learn it. So yeah, that's my five languages. <laughs> I think the hardest language for me to learn was Indonesian, not because the language itself is hard, actually it's pretty easy, especially if you can speak German, then the grammar and the sentences, the tenses, it's like, you know, you cannot compare. But for me, like as a French speaking person, I cannot say the R, like the R. It was so hard for me to roll the R, so I think it was, the, yeah. That was the challenge because at the beginning I was shy to roll it because sometimes I had to be so concentrated to be and sounds like, you know, you don't really speak very fluent, you know, but yeah, I think that's, that's just practice. I was practicing by myself, you know, like so funny, but yeah, now I think I, I mastered it. <laughs> I think it's not true that it's not possible as an adult to learn a new language, but I believe it's a bit harder as if you were born speaking two languages, of course, or as a child you learn so much more, so much quicker. So it's definitely an advantage to learn when you're young. But of course it's not true. Imagine like no one could learn a new language. No, of course not. Thank God it's not true. And I learned like maybe two, yeah, two languages when I was already an adult. So of course it's possible. I think the difference between learning a language when you're a child or when you're an adult is really about being shy or, you know, like when you're a child, you don't care what people say, you just speak, you know? And if you're an adult, you're more conscious about what people are gonna say. Are they gonna judge me? Are they gonna laugh at me? Maybe I'm gonna be wrong. Maybe I'm gonna be embarrassed. And if I don't understand what I'm gonna do. So I think that that's the main difference. As an adult, you're really more conscious and then you feel like, oh, maybe I should, you know, like, yeah. I think that's the difference. If I will have to say like the common mistakes people are making when they start to learn a new language, 
is definitely not get the, the basics, like the foundation, how the language works, the grammar, the verbs, etc. So if you don't feel comfortable with the language, like how you have to talk, how, how you have to build your sentences, then of course it's going to be hard for you to talk to people because you'll be like, oh, I don't know, right? So I would say get you like, a, if you have no clue about this language specifically, get you a good teacher or go to school or something, but get the, the basics. And after this, you will feel comfortable to talk to people. And that's for me really like the key is to communicate with people directly, you know? Of course, you can start by chatting, but then just go out there and talk with people because that's how you learn right when you communicate with native especially that's the best way to learn from me of course every day i would say i mix up like languages purposely or not sometimes uh, if it happens like not on purpose it's because i have some kind of strong emotions maybe you know like i don't know i'm angry or upset or surprised then i think the words i'm gonna show up in french because it's my mother tongue um, but otherwise, sometimes it, it happens as well that I'm mixing, like, you know, studying a sentence in this language and then putting some words in another one. Especially like living in Bali, right? It's like multilingual and multicultural place. So everyone is potentially speaking another language or English is our main like communication language, but it's not like our mother tongue. So of course we mix it up or like in my relationship, for example, we mix up all the time, like three or four languages. And I think it's really cool actually. I mean, it makes the things uh, funny and you know, it's like you have your own uh, language for yourself or with your friend or your partner. I think it's really cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I think the best way to start to learn a new language, if you have zero skills, just get you a teacher and start to have like lesson. Uh, make you like a routine you know like oh i'm gonna have two lessons uh, in a week one lesson and because it's consistent because learning a language is like learning any other skills you need to do it right you need to do the job if you just learn once a month you're not gonna be able to to learn and talk right so get your teacher and then build like a strong routine like a learning routine and then find you also a learning buddy like someone that's speaking maybe uh, native the language that you want to learn and then practice just practice just talk with people uh, maybe you can start by chatting with people like on Instagram or whatever. So, you know, you can still read the sentences like 10 times if you want, 20 times, or you can use the translator if you don't really understand. And after this, go talk to people and just, it's an effort, right? You have to make the effort and then it, it's getting easier when you're getting more comfortable. So I was talking about the importance of finding someone to talk with you. I will give you an example. So when I arrived in, in Indonesia, I couldn't speak at all, like not a single word. After this, I started to take classes and maybe three or four months after I started, I met a guy, an Indonesian guy, and he couldn't speak English at all. Like maybe just hello or something like that. So we had no choice. Like I really wanted to talk with him because we really felt like strong attraction and connection, but you know, you need to communicate in a language, right? You need to say something and, you know, if you want to get to know the person, you need to communicate physically. So my level improved like so much in a few months, I would say it's like, yeah, I don't know, so, so quick. So that's my, my advice as well. Uh, get you a partner. <laughs> You're gonna learn so fast. So my advice is for people that are learning a new language or on their language journey is to get a good foundation, grammar, verbs, uh, construction of the sentences, feel comfortable and then find you someone to talk with, like a learning buddy. Uh, can be a friend, can be a partner, can be, you know, anyone. Preferably this person is a native so they're gonna be you know they're gonna maybe correct you if they're nice <laughs> and if they're not annoyed uh, but of course you're gonna learn like the proper accent and the proper like uh, everything grammar of course and also my advice i know it sounds a bit stupid but when you're alone in your room or when you're you know like walking or jogging whatever talk to yourself out loud in this language so you get comfortable and you know how it sounds you can even talk to your pets if you want i know it sounds stupid but it's working so you practice it even when you're not with people and as soon as you get comfortable just you know go out there talk with people you know no one's gonna judge you 
and even if whatever so just go for it and learning by doing is the best way especially when it comes to learning a new language and my last advice of course is to use an app like for example Glossika because this app works like uh, it gives you repetition so you're gonna repeat the words again and again and that's how it like your your brain is working by repetition so you're gonna learn uh, quicker this way so see you in the next video with some new tips and languages some fine kete mu di video sen on